morning, good morning, or afternoon, or evening, depending on when you watch this video. Okay, so I promised some handwriting videos to make sure that you are practicing your correct letter formation. So I'm going to break them down into smaller videos. So you're going to do five sounds. You don't have to do them all at once, but it'd be easier to break them up into little sections than expect you to do the entire alphabet. Okay, so the letters we're going to look at today, or letter sounds, is M E S D T, M A S D T. Okay, so we're going to practice the sound and the rhyme, and then we're going to use that rhyme to help us with our handwriting. So, first of all, this sound is our first one. Anyone tell me what it is? It is M. Mm, mm. Okay, words like monkey, menace, mess, Miss Telford. Mm. Okay, and the way we remember that is through a rhyme and that helps us with our uh, writing. Anyone remember what it is? Mm. It is Maisie Mountain Mountain. So on the back we have our picture, Maisie at her mountains. I'm just going to put that on the wall somewhere where you can see it. Is that right? <clears throat> okay, so the way we remember that is we have, apologies, okay, we have Maisie. So I'm just going to draw her here. I'm going to have some nice like, pigtails, well, tiny pigtails, can you even say? Yep. It's going to have a nice little outfit. With our hands behind the Maisie. And we've got our mountain. And into the mountain. And the reason we have these rhymes is because we use them to help with our formation. So, for example, for this one, oops, wrong side of my pen. We have Maisie Mountain Mountain because we go down Maisie, so down here, and over the mountain. Mountain, mountain. Okay, so on your piece of paper or on your board, whatever you're using, I want you to go down Maisie. So go down first, please. Down Maisie, down Maisie, over the mountain and over the next mountain and give it a little flick. Just makes it look a bit nicer. Okay, so everybody on your boards, down Maisie, down first please. So start at the top here, on her face, down Maisie, mountain, mountain. Okay, so if we were to do it without Maisie, mountain, mountain, we're going to start at the top here, down Maisie, mountain, mountain okay and give me that little flick as well once you've done it big i want you to try it to go a little bit smaller because when we're writing we don't write jimongously like this on our books do we we write a lot smaller so down maisie mountain mountain okay so try try and make them a tiny bit littler down maisie mountain mountain and make sure you haven't got a giant gap here we shouldn't be seeing this that's a wiggle down maisie mountain mountain okay down maisie mountain Mountain. Can you do me three Maisie Mountain Mountains, please? And we're going to move on to A. Okay, our next sound is A. Okay, second sound we do A. Okay, it is a bouncy sound. A, 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 a. And the way we remember it, can anybody remember the rhyme? It is around the apple and down the leaf. Okay, remember we've got a picture of an apple on its side for some bizarre reason. Maybe someone's toppled it over. We have an apple, first of all. Okay, so on our picture, we have our apple. Okay, but it's got a really long stem and a really gymongous leaf for some weird reason. Okay, bizarre looking apple. Okay, but same way you do your M, mm, we have to start at the top here okay no we don't we start over here <laughs> my bad okay around the apple go all the way around this back to the top and then down the leaf okay so starting from up here go all the way around the apple like an almost like an off to the top and then down the leaf do not take your hand off because once you do that this is what your app becomes like it becomes an off with a funny little line okay all the way around the apple I was gonna say orange there and down the leaf do it with your hands first if you're unsure about doing it with a pen do it with your duck pen and do it in the air okay 
So from here, all around the apple and down the leaf. Okay, do not take your pen off or pencil what you're using, okay? Because when you do that, you do get the extra line, okay? And then once again, we come a bit closer around the apple and down the leaf. If you want, get your adult just to do a little dot on your paper. And I want you to go all the way around back to the dot. Do not take your pen off and then give it a little flick. Okay, all around the apple, down the leaf. One more time, all around the apple, down the leaf. Okay, can you do me three? Ah, we're going to move on to this. Bet you're sick of my face right now, but I'm going to keep talking and I'm going to keep helping you out. Okay, so until all of our handwriting is absolutely perfect. Okay, this is the one that people get a little bit stuck with because we get a lot of, well, it's not even upside down. A lot of backwards okay so we've got can anyone remember the rhyme it is slither down the snake slither down the snake for this it's all about where you start and it's usually the same place as anything else okay we have our snake okay so miss talbot's going to draw a terrible snake we've got his face it's going to be an angry snake with a smile for some reason and then we've got our snake. Okay. Do, 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 do. He's called Simon, the snake, and he's a rattlesnake. Because I can. Okay. For this one, boys and girls, it's all about where you start. Okay. So same as the A, we have our starting point up here where his head is. And then we simply slither. We go around one curve down and look at the snake okay so the out like a, like a, almost like a belly and then come all the way out again another belly and then go to his tail okay slither down the snake okay slither and then we go down the other way down the snake okay on your pieces of paper i want you to do one big s and then I want you to do some little ones as well. Slither down the snake. Okay. Again, get your adults if you want to to do you a point. And then we slither down the snake. Okay. What I shouldn't say is some backwardses. Okay. Or ones that look like a number five or a number two. Okay. From here, slither down. everybody's favorite letter sound okay this is the one where i know a lot of you get stuck with it looking like a b a boot okay or b for billy or blake okay but we're looking at a d, 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 d okay for david or danny or danielle okay d, 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 or daisy so who can tell me the rhyme or it involves a but and I know how much you guys love a butt. Okay, it is around the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck, and down to his feet. Okay, so we've got a dinosaur here with an awfully big butt. Okay, I'm not going to use it to help us do our duh. So we go around the dinosaur's bottom first, up his tall neck, and then down to his feet. Okay, so we're going to put that up there. It is in shot, isn't it? <laughs> Everything's backwards as well, so I do apologise, parents. I'll have to remember to flip this video and hope that they're not all backwards. Okay, so I have to very terribly now draw a dinosaur. Can she do it? Yes, she can. Okay, so once again, we have our dinosaur head. A bit like our snake. This one's a very happy dinosaur. He's got a long neck, or she. She's got an awfully big butt with a tail. Okay, and in it... We've got our feet somewhere along there as well. Okay, very terrible dinosaur, but the heck, hey ho. He's even going to have a party hat because he's a happy dinosaur. Okay, remember the rhyme around the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck, and down to his feet. So in the rhyme, it says just start where his bottom. Okay, so we're going to start from 
the base of his neck. So once again, mums and dads, you can always just draw a dot as a starting point for them to make their beginnings. And then from there, they can work around it. So around the dinosaur's bottom. And where do we go? Up his tall neck and down to his feet. You will notice that Miss Telfa has not taken her pen off her sheet and you do not either. You keep it on. Sometimes we get the bottom, then we get a neck and then we get feet and it becomes a very bizarre looking shape. So once again, find your starting point around the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck and down to his feet. Give him a flick. So once again, <gasps> just draw it on my wall. Oh no. <laughs> around the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck and down to his feet. So if we did that without the dinosaur, have your little point somewhere on your page. Around the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck and down to his feet. Okay, we shouldn't get the buzz looking like this way around. We shouldn't get it. I'm going to start there and then I'm going to add it on and then I'm going to add some feet. We're going to start at his bottom and go all the way around it up his tall neck and down to his feet again try it on a big sheet and then i want you to do little ones okay around the dinosaur's bottom up his tall feet tall feet apparently he's got very tall feet around the dinosaur's bottom up his tall neck and down to his feet you'll notice you follow the same pattern as an app but instead of flicking off we go up and down so we've got around the apple and down the leaf for this one we go around the dinosaur's bottom up his tall neck and down to his feet i would really get in the habit of shouting out the rhyme to help you out so, around the dinosaur's bottom up his tall neck and down to his feet and give it a flick around the dinosaur's bottom up his tall neck and down to his feet flick do me three does and we've got our last sound for this video Okay, we've got the sound t of T. T. Okay, t. can anyone tell me by shouting really loudly in a silly voice what rhyme goes with t. T, 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 t? It is down the tower, across the tower. Bizarre looking tower. There you go. I'm now going to have to attempt to draw it. That should be fun. Down the tower, across the tower. Okay, so I'm going to stick that on our wall. I'm going to try and not draw on my wall today. Again, as you can see, it's already covered in all sorts of marks because Miss Telford does all sorts of silly things at home. Okay, so the weirdest looking tower in the world. door and some steps and then some random turrets that stick out the side and a window for someone to hide in hmm. okay here we go down the tower so which direction are we going we're going down the tower and then across it not up the tower down the tower okay so with your pen or your pencil down the tower and give it a flick you have to go down the steps across the tower down the tower across the tower and one more time with your invisible pen or your duck pen you can do it in the air down the tower across the tower right it should be easy peasy. So now, without said tower, we're going to attempt it again. Oh, you can see it through the page now. It looks like a joke. Down the tower. Give it a flick. Across the tower. Wingardium Leviosa. Across the tower. So down the tower. 
across the tower. Right, in your little books or on your sheet of paper or on, not on the wall, hopefully. Okay, take your pen down the tower, across the tower. I want to see some nice little flicks. Okay, down the tower, flick, across the tower. Down the tower, flick, across the tower. So if we come a bit closer, down the tower, across the tower. Down the tower, across the tower. Can you do me the reaches? Okay, now I'm going to make it a bit harder for you because I know that's what you like. A challenge. Okay, challenge number one. And I know it's challenge accepted. And I know this will be very easy for some of you. But I know you can do it, every single one of you. You have five letter sounds here. We're now going to use those letter sounds to make a word. You're welcome. Okay, very easy word, CBC word. We're going to sound it out and then we're going to have a go at writing it down. Okay, so we're going to spell the word mat. M -a -t, M-A-T. M-A-T. So who can tell me by shouting out really loudly to annoy the next door neighbours what mat starts with? Starts with a M. Okay, so we're going to put that up here. M. Mat comes next. Mat. It is a A. Well done. M A. And then what goes on the end of mat? Mat. T. Brilliant. So now that we sound out the word mat, we're going to write it beautifully on our sheet. Okay. Down Maisie Mountain. Mountain around the apple and down the leaf and then down the tower across the tower so we'll do that now together okay down mazy mountain mountain around the apple and down the leaf and then down the tower across the tower mat mat now I'm not going to help you for the next one because I think that was way too easy. So, on your piece of paper or your board or whatever you're using, I would like you to write me the word sat. 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 Now I'm going to give you 30 seconds to write that down and then we're going to write it out together. Sat. Sat. And remember, all your rhymes for your letters to help you out. Of course, I have no idea how long 30 seconds is, so this should be fun. I don't think any longer than that. So, sat. Those of you who aren't sure, it starts with a s. And we don't need to change the ending because it's a rhyme. Mat, sat. At, sat. So, slither down the snake. Slither down the snake. Ah, around the apple, down the leaf, and then t down the tower, across the tower. Set. Okay, next one, next word. Hmm. Right. Hopefully, this is not how you're feeling. I know it's how I tell if it's feeling a little bit. Can you, on your boards or on your piece of paper or whatnot, write me the word sad? Sad. Sad. Red fingers, sad, sad. So think about what it starts with, sad, and what it ends with. And we're going to write it down. I'm going to give you 10 seconds for this one because I think I gave you way too well before.
a sad start to an S, followed by an A, sad, sad. Sad, sad. I'm gonna write that on our piece of paper. Really proud of you for staying on this video so long. Okay, so slither down the snake, slither down the snake, ah, around the apple, around the apple, down the leaf, and then for duck, around the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck, and down to his feet. So around the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck, and down to his feet. Well done. Okay, so that's this little video done for m a s d t m a s d t. Okay, next one will be i n p g o a n p g o. Okay, and we will practice some of them, and when we use we will use some of those sounds to add to our five to write some more C B C words. Okay, really proud of you. Really miss you. Hope you're having a great time at home in your Spider Man pajamas or princess dresses or whatever you are. I'm going about to hop into my onesie now and eat some cereal. So yes, have a good rest of the day. Goodbye.